The Vickers Valiant, Britain's new four-jet bomber, enters squadron service with the RAF, the most powerful, costly, and complex aircraft the Air Force has ever had. Each one is worth several hundred thousand pounds, so only the cream of air crews are picked to fly them. Clean lines make her look small, but the tailplane alone has a wider span than a hunter fighter's wing. As one pilot puts it, flying the old Lancaster was like driving a lorry, the Canberra is like a small but lively sports car, but the Valiant is like a powerful luxury sports saloon. Designed to carry nuclear weapons, one Valiant can have greater heating power than the whole of wartime bomber command. On the tarmac at Wittering, Northamptonshire, are the modified Victor bombers ready to hoist blue steel rocket missiles. That combination will be Britain's main deterrent until at least 1970. In war, the blue steel would be released by the bomber about 150 miles from the target and home its way there at several times the speed of sound. As the victors can now operate at more than 10 miles high, it's long odds against enemy interception. There's a stockpile of blue steel. Everything about them, as this motor test shows, emphasizing the key role of science in modern war. Victors can now also fly at no more than treetop height, for which they employ camouflage protection. Air Minister Hugh Fraser watched the demonstration flight with the bombers carrying blue steel. When flying low, they would escape detection by enemy radar. The RAF and NATO Air Command believe that V-bombers plus blue steel will do the job assigned to them for the next few years.